Hello, welcome to another video. Today I'm quite excited because it's the first time I'll be having a go with ExternOS and this is the Beta 2. Um, just a quick little sort of explanation of how I've had to set this up. So usually I'll do it through my capture card and then I'd record off of my main PC and wouldn't have to record on the actual you know, host that we're doing the sort of overview of. Unfortunately, for some reason, I can't get multiple displays to work here. So if I go into the system settings here, and go on to displays no matter what I do I can't get it to do anything so the problem with that is uh, obviously my capture card comes up as a display so it wouldn't work with the capture card so we are doing it straight off of the disk on the same operating system and what we have here is OBS so every now and then I will be popping up OBS because I'm used to having my preview screen to make sure that levels are right and everything like that so if you see me every now and then popping that open it's just making sure everything's still recording and stuff um, anything else I want to say? Oh yes, of course. So um, OBS isn't in the menu. So if you want to do something like me and sort of have a little look around and install some applications, um, most most of them you'll probably have to launch from the terminal. So what I've done is I've launched OBS from this terminal here and I've just left that there so I can record this video. So now that's out of the way, let's crack on. Okay, so let's start with what we can see. So we've got two rather large icons here. So let's click drives and then that expands it to show all available drives and then clicking on that would then open up the file manager of where that drive is. And then clicking files, um, just some thanks. Let's open that quickly. And then that will open that in there. Welcome to developer. Thanks for trying external OS. You are very welcome. Okay, let's start at the bottom now, left to right. So you've got your application launcher here. You've got a system settings toggle there, which will open up the system settings categories. Then you have system performance. Okay, we'll have a look at this in a moment. We'll have a look at everything in a bit more depth. We're going to get a quick overview and then we'll keep moving on. Okay, that's just the about external OS part and about this computer, App Center Terminal, external OS. And then down here, you've got some more categories. So most accessed, all apps, multimedia, system tools, internet, images and graphics and developer tools. You then have your user, oh, what's going on there? There we go. You then have your user thing there with your username and you can leave with restart, shut down, lock and sign out. You have a weather widget and your location there. Okay, right. And then down here we have what would you like to do? So this is what a uh, remind me activity thing. Ah, oh, look, and all those things have just disappeared. Huh, I like that. Where is Zimbabwe? Okay, I'm, I'm not too sure what this is. So this version is currently mostly interpreted using external OS servers except for reminder requests. A fully online version is in the works and should be available soon. Interesting. Okay. So is it listening to me? I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Right, let's uh, leave that. So you have a show desktop button here. No, you don't. You have a workspace switcher. So there is your virtual desktops. Let's keep going. Uh, you have time there. I don't think you can click that. Can't click the date. Uh, volume rocker, fairly simple. What's this here? Take a screenshot or record. So let's take a screenshot. Is that taking a screenshot? I'm going to assume it has because it's went red and then back to a normal color. Connections and then finally your notifications. And then you can clear that with the three dot dot dots there. Right, now let's see what it's coming installed with. So files, here is our files manager. So let's see if we can make that a bit smaller and if it expands anything or anything. No, so it all stays. Can you move these bits? Nope. Um, okay. So let's open, can you open a new tab? You can open as, nope, actions. What can you do with that? Add to desktop or rename. And then can you cite, and you can also cycle through here. That's quite cool. And then you have your quick places here, which give you documents, downloads, music, pictures, and videos, and then your mounted drives here. So if you wanted to make a new folder, you would not right click actions new folder there you go so you'd right click actions new folder or new file sorry right let's um so what's it look like full screened hmm i'm not sure i like the um, bar being fully transparent when it, an application is full screened i'd rather it's dynamic adaptive or something so it was a solid color right let's keep going uh dev kit 
Welcome to developer. Let's get started. How to build your first app? New projects. Project name. Blah blah blah. Um, please note this is important. And will be used to help identify your app for the external OS apps. Very cool. Let's keep it moving. So that was dev kit in music now. So you have a music player. Got it. And I think it connects to Deezer and maybe a couple of other stream. Maybe just Deezer actually. Interesting. Okay. Let's close that. And let's keep it going. So photos, open image files from files or equivalent. Okay, we haven't really got any image files to open, so we won't worry about that for now. Let's go to the App Center. So is there anything actually available in the App Center? Productivity tools. No, so just what you can see here. But as I said, this is a beta. But I've managed to install things from a terminal um, and then just open it from the terminal, um, launch it from the terminal. Um, photos, App Center, Terminal, External OS Tips. Right, so I've also installed this on my laptop, so I know that this works. So the free finger swiping for your workspaces works quite nicely, actually, very smooth. Probably the smoothest it's worked on a Linux distribution that I've used recently. And here's your keyboard shortcuts here. Previous workspace, uh, use the super key and directionals, task switcher result tab. Um, let me just go back there a minute. What was that last one? Workplace overview, super and S. Let's see that. Okay, so that was um, the thing that we did down there. Okay, so let's keep going. So that was external S tips. Live is a video program, I'm going to assume. Um, I don't know if I've got a video that we can test it. Oh, I should do. We've done the little recording beforehand, didn't we? Let's open the files up and go into videos. And they've got an introducing one. Where's the one I recorded? Oh, God, where's that gone? There we go. Let's try just this one here. I just want to see something. Yeah, so there you go. Um, and you saw me with my hat off just for a second there, aren't you lucky? Okay, right, um, so I'm going to open up the system settings now and we'll have a look at that. So we'll, we'll open the wallpapers and just quickly have a look at what wallpapers here. Custom wallpapers, so you can also add your own. Let's go for something like this. What's this? Right, and it also changes the way because obviously the, di the transparency is set on what the wallpaper is. I'm not sure I like the way it looks with this wallpaper. So let's go back and let's try it with something else. Let's try it with this sort of cityscape here. Franca and Main. Um, yeah, I, I guess that's all right, actually. I quite like that. Right, I'm going to leave it with that. And then let's keep going. So that was wallpaper. Appearance. Simple body text switch. Simple drop. Sample drop down. This is a sample checkbox. Adaptive blur. Adaptive blur takes into account content behind the window instead of the wallpaper. Please note this is in beta stage and may result in performance issues. Oh well, let's do it. So let's open up a terminal. Or not. No, here's the terminal we've got here. Is that transparent? I'm not too sure. Let's open up a files app. So let me open up something and put that behind it. So let's open two files apps. There you go. Right, I'm going to go back into the settings there and then just turn that off. I'm not too fussed about that. Overall theme, I don't really think you can do too much there at the moment. Accordion collapse, drop down button, will be available in beta 2.2. Yeah, so a lot of this will be available in beta 2.2, it seems. Let's keep it moving. So fonts, um, yeah, we'll have a quick look. Uh, will be available in beta 2.2. User profile will also be available in beta 2.2. Hub and desk, right. Weather unit, Celsius installed apps, native Linux apps. Ah, hang on. When enabled, native Linux apps that are installed will be listed under Linux apps category. So let's see if we do that. And now, will OBS be in here? Is this the hub? Let's have a look. Let's just search for OBS. Uh, can't see it there. Is this the hub though? We are just assuming, aren't we? Right, let's keep going anyway. Uh, where were we? Hmm. 
Okay, so that was hub and desk. Um, display, I've mentioned display, I'll quickly show you my trouble here. So a lot of this I can't actually change. I, I might be missing a little toggle somewhere, I don't know. So that's why we are using the OBS on the actual machine here. Right, so let's just minimize that again and close that one. Right, let's keep it going. So this was the, yeah, the display settings thing there, I'm sure as again, better 2.2 or whatever will help you out a bit more there. So here you can manage your sound, it's picked up my microphone, you can pan your audio, now that's not to pan, that's just for overall volume. Left and right, profile, and then obviously you could use whether you was using DisplayPort or not DisplayPort, HDMI for your audio or your line in, line out, line in, whatever. Let's keep going. Um, network uh, will be available in beta 2.2. Bluetooth will be available in beta 2.2, <laughs> date and time. Uh, your current location is Brighton, blah, 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 yep. Okay, uh, file types will be available in beta 2.2. Credentials will be available in beta 2.2. And advanced will also be available in beta 2.2. Okay, right, so that's the that was system settings. Let's have a look at system performance now then. So what do we have here? Is it just telling us what's going on? So is this all of the course? Is there 12? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... Yes, 5, 10, 12, okay, so there's the uh, cores there. So CPU loads at 17%, we have used 9% of our disk, and RAM usage is at 11%, swap usage is at zero. I will just install HSHOP though to get a actual number for the RAM there. So let's go back, um, all apps, terminal. Okay, it's not opening a new terminal for some reason. Open terminal, come on baby. Nope. Nope. It's not letting us do it. Um, as I said, this is a beta, so you will run into the odd little issue like that. Right, let's keep going. Let's see if there's any. I want to check out the workspace switcher. Wow, look at that. That's quite. I don't know if I like that or not. Obviously, it's, it looks nice. <coughs> um, yeah, actually, I can see a good reason to use that. Get a nice sort of overview of what you're looking at. Um, and then let's test the workspace switching with the keyboard. Very nice, quite a nice smooth animation. Right, what I'm going to do is stop recording, um, install HTOP and a couple of things, and then reboot, and then we'll just have a final little look at sort of the RAM reading and stuff like that. But so far, so good. Okay, and we're back. So I've got TMUX going in their terminal now so I can open a couple of things. Um, <laughs> I'm not sure if that's just the terminal having a bit of a meltdown but it doesn't like tmux at the moment so we're going to do a reboot and get just a round reading at boot and then we're going to wrap the video up there but so far i'm, I'm quite impressed i think beta 2.2 will be the um you know the one to hold out for to get a proper feel for it so let's just stop this obs recording do a reboot and then get our ram reading and just wrap it up there okay so i just forgot that i didn't also check their web browser either so here's the web browser so it's transparent and then if you was to open something it will go to it like a normal background color. And then up here you've got view extensions. I'm not sure if that will work yet. You have view downloads, so that will work. That will open a little side panel with a darker shade. Um, you have settings here. So all of your little things like seems to open from the side here. Search engine by default is dot, dot, go. Um, you can minimize the window like that. I'm not sure I like the um, animation of where the windows seems to minimize to. Where is it going there? Let me do that again. Yeah, it seems to go top right. I'd rather it go down. Anyway, let's keep it going. Um, enlarge window, so that's it full screened. Okay. Right, so the RAM at a boot was about 860 megabytes. So I took a screenshot, so hopefully we can chuck that up so you can see. And we're now at about 1.75 gigabytes. Um, anyway, that's been external ace. External Ace, <laughs> External Ace, the Beta 2, Beta 2. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, and I will see you on the next one. Bye bye.